Hello everyone, welcome to another video on next race. Today's topic is based on the solvothermal and the hydrothermal synthesis of nanoparticles. While going through the literature, you must have gone through this term hydrothermal or solvothermal synthesis route. So, what is this technique? I'll be discussing about this process in brief. So, this is the image of a stainless steel unit which is used for this reaction process. Inside this unit, there is a Teflon lined vessel. The polymer name of this Teflon is polytetrafluoroethylene. Here you can see this is the structure of this polymer where there is a carbon fluorine bond and this is the repeating unit. There are some specific reasons for the use of this polymer. It is resistant to corrosion. It can work in all type of pH range whether it is acidic or basic and it can also withstand a high temperature which is commonly required for this type of synthesis process. So what we do, we place the required amount of reactant solution inside this vessel. There is a general thumb rule which we follow in the laboratory that we must leave one third of this uh, vessel empty so as to ensure proper mixing and the proper synthesis of whatever we are planning to do. We use this upper gasket and lower gasket to cover this vessel and we place them inside this stainless steel vessel and we enclose them with this cap. We use, lastly, we use the locking rod to tighten this chamber and we place it inside the furnace or oven which we use whatever which is available in your lab and we place it at a certain temperature for a stipulated period of time which, we, uh, which you require for your synthesis process. That's all. It's a very common technique. If you are carrying out research in chemistry and you have to synthesis nanomaterials, you must go through this synthesis process. Thank you everyone. It has been a very long time since my last video. From now on, I will try to post regular videos in my channel. Thank you.